Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Every Day, and today I've got a quick Canva tutorial for you. I'm gonna be showing you how to put an image in text within Canva. It's really simple to do, and it'll make your text look really cool, like it's made from whichever image you upload to Canva. It looks awesome. So let's jump over to Canva and show you exactly how to do this. Now the app we're gonna be using within Canva today is called Font Frame, and we'll get to that in a second. But first we need to create a design. So go up to the top right hand corner here where it says create a design. We'll left click on that and you can really make whichever type you like, whether it's an Instagram post or a flyer. I'm gonna do a presentation today, 1920 by 1080. Maybe you're making a thumbnail and you want it to be that rectangular look nice and wide. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And I think I'll just add a background here as well so we can easily see it. So if you wanna add a background, go to backgrounds and I'll select this one here so we can easily see our lettering. So from here, we need to go ahead and open up font frame. So over on the left-hand side under apps, we'll go ahead and left click on that. And you can search Canva apps right here. We'll type in font frame. It's all one word and we'll hit enter. And there it is right there. You can go ahead and left click on font frame and we'll just go ahead and hit open here and it's gonna open up font frame. Now you can see there's kind of a default text here. It says, hello world. And down here it says text. We can go ahead and make the text whatever we like. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that and delete it. And maybe I'll type in relax and explore. You can type in whatever text you're looking to add. But from here we need to go ahead and upload our image. So there's a couple different ways to do that. You could go ahead and choose the file. So if you left click on that, you can search your computer for whichever file you're looking to upload. I've got this one of the kind of a pool and palm trees there. Go ahead and open that up. And you can see it put it right into the background there. Or you can use a selected image as well. So if you wanted to do that, I'll just drag this in here and put it into my project. We could go ahead and go back to font frame and just use selected image. So make sure that the image is selected and then use selected and it would add it in like that as well. So a couple different ways to do it. Um, whichever one you find easiest, you can go ahead and do. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the image from my um, project there, so it'll still keep it in there. Now, once we've got that image uploaded, there's a few different options. You can actually take your mouse and hold down your left, left mouse button and move around the image in the background so you can get it to line up exactly how you like it. You can also scale the image so we can make it bigger if you just want a portion of it, maybe the palm trees or smaller. So you can adjust that just how you like it. You can also go into settings here and change the font. So maybe you wanted a different font. You can easily change that. You can change the alignment. So left or right aligned or center. Of course, the outline thickness here, if you want it really thick or thin. Letter spacing, as well as line spacing if you want it further or closer together, just like that. Once you've got it just how you like it, we'll go ahead and hit add to design and it's gonna pop it right into our design. And now we can adjust the size of it. I'll just drag that out to whatever size I like, just like that. And you can see that it looks really cool with my photo in the background. Again, we can still go ahead and adjust it. If you make adjustments, you just need to hit add to design again. It'll put a second one in and we'll need to remove the first one. And again, we can just drag that out just like that. And how cool is that? You've got image in text here in Canva and it's really that simple to do.